management. So my name is Engineer Michael Basis and I'm an uh, instructor here in Macau Institute of Technology. And here I want to, uh, to discuss further what is bus bar arrangement, which is, of course, you know, the arrangement that is used you know, on power plants and substations. Okay, to, to begin with, you know, so bus bars are important components in a substation. And there are several bus bar arrangements. So bus bar arrangements, it depends on particular voltage, also on location, and of course on the positioning of the devices, and of course the degree of reliability. So when we, when we uh, said to be degree of reliability, uh, we're talking about here uh, an N-1 and an N-2 contingency. So what is a contingency? Contingency is an outage or an interruption of certain equipments connected in the power system. So meaning to say, if you have N minus one, you can have one interruption of the outage, you know, in terms of one transmission line. N minus two, a combination of a generator or a transformer or a generator or a line. So contingency is also an important analysis in power system in order to know the degree of reliability. And last but not the least is the cost. The cost is always, no, is always in proportion, no, with, of course, no, the number of components on our power system. So for this case, no, is always a trade-off in terms of reliability. So a good reliable power system needs no uh, needs higher no cost. And of course, if you want to a simple power system, you need to have to, to trade off your cost. Okay. Um, Okay, for this reason, no, uh, we have no the different different single bus bar arrangements, no, which is from the name it suggests we have the first one, no, the single bus bar system. So a single bus bar system is of course no you have one bus bar no, connected in the power system. And as we are, as we have mentioned, it depends on the location and dependent on the number of equipments that is connected on the power system. Now, your bus bar is only one no, here, and you have your components. By the way, the isolators here no, is no, a, a bi uh, bidirectional switch. Simply because it can isolate in two ways. So your isolators here no, is a blade switch that cuts off on the whole or entire line. Also, we have an OCD here, all safety breaker, in connection, uh, in series with every heater. And of course, in every all, power, all safety breaker, you have a relay. So your relay has its current transformers, which is very important, okay, in uh, decreasing or minimizing no, the whole current to a certain degree. Of course, your single bus bar system has its lighting arrays there, no? which is always connected no? at the middle of the bus. Bar. And one uh, advantage of a single bus bar system is simplicity in operation. Another one is, you know, uh, this type of bus bar is 32, uh, 33, rather, 33 kilovolt below in operation. So for this type of, uh, of system, there is only one uh, disadvantage. If there's a fault of any of the bus bar here, you no, know, there is there will be a complete interruption. Or if there is a maintenance you know, on the bus bar, it is also interrupted, you no, know, the whole system. So if that will be you know, the case, okay, we need another type or form of a bus bar arrangement. Now this will be compensated. In the, in, the, in the next type of uh, bus bar arrangement, which is the 
the uh, single bus bar with sectionalization switch. Okay, now you have a sectionalization switch here, which provided by two isolators. And then, of course, if you have an isolator here, you have you know, your protection. They are connected, you know, this protection here is connected between sections. As you can see here, you we have two sections, section one and section two. Now, this type of power system is for 33 kV above. Okay? Now, in every section of the power system, this is section number one and section number two. So, it is compensated from the first because on the first, if there is a fault anywhere in the system, the power is interrupted. Now, if there is a fault at bus number one, no, uh, bus section number two will not be affected. This is by using switching or even no, the uh, operation of your old circuit breaker. Now, if you ever that there is a maintenance no, at section number two, okay, that will also the same thing. It, uh, bus section number one will not be affected. Okay. Now, as you can see, on you know, the first two type of arrangement, uh, arrangement number one and number two, there are uh, it has also a limitation. That is for n minus one contingencies. So meaning, if one of the bus bar or one of the components is not present or maintained, there are always there is always an interruption of the uh, network. Now, how can you compensate n minus one? Now, the next few arrangement no, can be uh, the solution of that problem. Okay, from that dilemma, we can have no, the first no, type of an arrangement if there is, of course, an N minus 2 contingency. This is the duplicate bus bar. Now, the uh, problem in the first two is if your bus bar is being maintained or your bus bar is faulted, there is a complete interruption. How about if no, your main bus bar no, is, is maintained, there will always a spare. This is your spare bus at the second no, uh, row of your power system here. And this type of system is for 66 kilovolt above. So meaning to say, no, this is for old, obviously for medium voltage. And as you can see here, the two bus bar is being coupled by this, no, by this coupler. So this coupler here has its own power system, as you can see, uh, power system protection. You have your oil safety breaker and, of course, your current transformer that serve as a transducer in, in minimizing the fault carry to a certain value. Now, it's also the same thing. No? Now, if you can see here, there's an incoming and outgoing circuit. The incoming circuit here is obviously, this is your, from your source side. And the outgoing circuit is your from your two to your feeder side. So meaning to say, of course, if you have your source, it has its corresponding feeder. And if there is a possibility that there is a bus bar you know, that is being maintained, then in this case, there is a spare bus bar to compensate to the losses. So this is for the duplicate bus bar system. How about Another type, you no, know, wherein you can use the N minus two is the uh, double bus bar, you no, know, double breaker system. Okay, uh, the only difference between the first and, the, and this double bus and double breaker is here you have only one breaker. Okay, that is being separated on two bus bars. Now, on the double bus and double breaker, you have two or twice protection. So you have the double breaker here. Okay. Now, in this case, you have two lines and you have your outgoing line. This is your outgoing line. Outgoing line. This is your incoming line from your source. Incoming or from your source line. So as you can see here, no, if there is a possibility that one of the bus bars is being maintained, no, the power is not cut off. No, it will only no, uh, reroute no, its energy or power to the bus number one. Or even if your bus number two and one of the breaker is compensated or meaning to say uh, maintained, no, there is no such no loss of power. So in this type is an N minus two type and 66 kilovolt above is the 
vo uh, range of the voltage for this time. So again, double pass bar and double breaker is different from the duplicate. From the first, you have duplicate and you have a coupler. Here, you have a double pass and a double breaker. Okay, so for the uh, next uh, type is the ring bus system. Okay, a ring bus system as as presented is like a uh, ring bus on the DC distributor. Because on the DC distributor, you have no, uh, distributors connected no, in a ring. So it's also the same thing. Now, it's one of the uh, uh, classification of this type is uh, if one of the uh, breakers is being off, there's still no power that is uh, on the system. It will become only radial. Because if one of the breakers is maintained, for example, this breaker here is eliminated, now the power is still you know, in a series fashion. So the power still continues. Okay. Because of this, there is a flexibility of this type of uh, arrangement. Also, uh, in terms of the protection side, you know, the protection of this kind of setup of a ring is uh, like you know, a mesh uh, system. In a mesh system, the type of, of protection you know, that is being used is the uh, DOCR or the Directional Overcurrent Protection or it is commonly known as DOCRs. So meaning to say, you know, uh, if you have a mesh connected system, the type of overcurrent protection you know, that is being implemented is in the directional part because if you have a radial system, radial system, the type of protection that we use is overcurrent protection only, current protection or OCR. Because in a radial system, we usually no, have the protection in a graded form. Okay, now uh, to establish how a DOCR is, uh, is being used or being implemented. We have here no, uh, your circuit breakers. Every circuit breaker has its corresponding relay. Okay, I can remember no, uh, every circuit breaker has its relay. Remember, a circuit breaker cannot, no, cannot, inter uh, cannot interpret without its proper intelligence. Okay, now, from the word itself, directional overcurrent. Okay. The relays here will have no, this no, opposite lines, no, opposite flow. No? So meaning to say R1 and R2 is opposite here, and R4 and R3 is opposite. Now, in every relays here, that is primary and backup relay. So I can show you here your backup and of course your primary relay. Now, it is dependent, of course, on the, uh, on the flow of the current. Now, for example, here, R1 and R3 is your backup and primary, respectively. R2 and R4 is your backup and primary, respectively. Now, how the OCR, or direct over current relays, is operated? For example, there is a fault occurs on this line. R1 and R2 must be the one who will open the circuit. So meaning, this one, this relay here, and this relay here will open. Now, if this is open, the fault here is purely isolated. How about if R1 does not operate? Meaning, okay, only R2 operates. The backup must operate because this is the responsibility of the backup relay, which is R3. The partner really. So for that, R1, R2, and R3 will open. And of course, it's distinguished the fault. It cuts off the line. But again, since the fault here occurs at this portion, okay, to prevent it to getting to the other feeders, after some time, because of the duplicate primary of 
of the relay, relay number one will also open eventually. Okay? Then after a little bit of 0.3 seconds, it depends on the current uh, of the uh, coordination time interval, it will close. So that will be you know, the uh, simple explanation of how a ring bus or a ring system you know, is being implemented and the protection of the release in terms of direct direction and And last but not the least, guys, no, the uh, uh, the last uh, type is the breaker and a half sequence. This is very familiar to you because the majority, no, of the of the uh, uh, bus bar arrangement use this kind of pattern. Now, why it is called a breaker and a half? Simply because before you go to the another feeder here, it is separated with one and a half breaker. Okay, so you have a tie breaker here, and you have your main circuit breakers at both of the bus bar. Before your main line, which is your ingoing line, moves forward to your feeder. No, for example, this is your feeder number one. It will go to one and a half breakers. So meaning to say, you know, this is a very superior type simply because we use an N minus two scheme, you no, know, in this kind of setup. For example, your bus number one is maintained, and one of the circuit breaker, for example, is also maintained or short circuited for for, the, for obvious reason. So meaning the power is not cut off, okay, and it is being you no know, uh, being uh, uh, diverted using switches. So this type or this pattern is repeated to the another four or another section here. No? If ever possible that there is an N minus two continuity. So again that is the composition of the bus for arrangements. So it depends on no, the cost, the location, the voltage, and of course the uh, contingency that you will use no, on the substation. So again, that will be the uh, discussion for the password.